Plaintiffs Chuck Conkle and his wife Kathy say Kathy has been friends with the defendant for 30 years. And Kathy claims although the defendant is smart and talented, she also struggles with alcoholism. They're suing because they say as a result of the defendant's negligence, their lake house was damaged. Defendant Joni Callahan admits that she and Kathy were good friends and says they grew closer over the last few years. But she claims she felt uncomfortable after Kathy insinuated that Joni would do something inappropriate with Chuck. Joni insists the plaintiff's neighbor damaged their home, not her. Let's start with you. Okay. Well, um, one thing I guess I should say, Joni and I have been friends for 30 years, so, um, and I really do think the world of her. Um, I think she's smart and talented, but she's having some troubles right now. She's struggled with alcoholism, which... Since when? 20 years ago. You know, she's been sober a lot. That I want to say, because this is what I was going to say. About 20 years ago, she made a comment. It's one of the best things I ever heard in my life, because she was... Um, well, she was sober, but she was with somebody that was drinking, and that was making her crazy. And she told me that she was going to leave him, and then she said, well, maybe I'd stay with him if we had something in common, like consciousness. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, she's been very involved Didn't with AA. so into she's, a coma. <laughs> yeah, she's been, you know, but in the last year is when um, things have kind of oh, gotten... she's smart and talented. Tell us about that. That was a good com well, compliment. Um, she had built up a cleaning business mm -hmm. that she had so much, she was really good at that, and she had so much work, I don't even think that she could handle all of it. Why don't you give me some background before we get into the damage she's suing for? Sure. Your Honor, um, like she said, Kathy said we've been friends for a long time, and uh, we became closer over the last couple years. Um, there's been some issues with, um, between she and the man that I'm seeing. Plaintiffs Chuck Conkle and his wife Kathy are suing Kathy's former friend, who they claim struggles with alcoholism. So what are you suing her for today? She sent me a text that said, um, could I please go up to the lake house to rest? Because I had let her use it in the past to go and rest. I texted her back and I said, when do you want to go? This was like four three or four in the afternoon, and she said, now. So I thought, I said, all right, um, I'm in Chicago, uh, stop by and Chuck will give you a key. So she went um, and got a key from him, I think about five o'clock. Well, she didn't get to the house right away. It took her about three and a half hours, I think. How do you know? Because I got a phone call from the neighbor around 8.30, I was home at this point mm -hmm. in time. And the neighbor called, and he said, that one friend that you've got, and he didn't even know her name, he said, she's here, and she's, she's really drunk. Smashed. And, yeah, he said, she can hardly <laughs> stand up. He goes, she hit your house with the car, and he goes, and um, I kicked your doors in because the key didn't work. I said, you did what? I said, why in the hell would you do that? And he said, well... I didn't think it was good to, you know, leave her out in the cold like that. So I was think he... Was he drunk, too? Maybe they were... I, that's what I mean. <laughs> I, did ask, I did ask her that later yeah, because I just thought... going up there. That's where everybody go to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what you I all thought... do when you go up there? <laughs> no. Is your husband? I, I have drank up there a couple yeah, times. Yeah, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you, you like a nipple, too. I can... But... <laughs> Ma'am, you tell me what happened here. Okay. So the background is that, yeah, we've been 30, uh, friends for 30 mm -hmm. years, got closer over the last couple of years. There were some issues with jealousy um, on Kathy's part. Jealous of um, who? She actually insinuated that, there, that I might do something inappropriate with her husband. Oh, um, go ahead. I know. That's not, I that actually, that. that's... And what well, it was, and I'll give you an example. Um, at one time, I was up at the cottage. I also cared for their cottage for the last year and a half. I've taken care of it during and um, in between renters. I've done painting and just all kinds of odd jobs around there. Um, so that's part of why I was allowed to go to the cottage. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I was at the cottage with a couple friends and Chuck was outside working, Charles was outside working and my clothes were wet because I played in the lake with a little boy, one of my friend's kids. Mm -hmm. And I was in the back bedroom changing. Kathy had me on the phone, I had the door closed to the bedroom and I said, just give me a minute, I have to take off my wet shirt. And she screamed the phone, Chuck is there. 
I'm like, I wouldn't do this in front of your husband. I'm insulted, that's crazy. All right, move on. Tell me about the incident. That's sure. what we're talking about. Okay, great. Not um, you stripping in front of a husband. <laughs> I know. I it know. really wasn't talk about but anyway. the incident. What happened? Then? <laughs> okay. The incident. Okay, so I I went by as she said to go get the key to the cottage because I didn't have mine and the one that I normally had and Chuck inadvertently gave me the wrong key. So I get to the cottage, I pull down in their driveway, it's on a slant and um, it was not shoveled yet. There was nowhere else for me to park because of all the snow anyway. Um, so I couldn't really shovel it. And so I go to get in the, the house that was the wrong key. I couldn't get in. I was stuck in the drive. I couldn't get out. And, but I tried to get out. I kept sliding around. The neighbor, next door neighbor, heard me. And he came out and he... He knew it was you? Well, yeah, he had seen me before. We'd had some interactions. Mm -hmm. So he saw it During was the you time, he yeah, he heard out. probably, he heard my mm -hmm. tires spinning because I was so stuck. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, he came over and... He, I asked him to please help me find a way to get in the house if possible. Well, I don't know if he was drinking or not, but yeah, it kind of seems like it at this point. Um, so he decided that it would be a good idea to try to kick in the garage door. He ended up trying to kick in the front door too. I didn't do any damage. Mm -hmm. that you saw night. him do all that? Yes. I'm sure you told him to stop. Yes. I said, <laughs> no. I said, don't try to kick in the door. The garage door, the service door is normally unlocked yeah. anyway. So try to kick in two different doors. Uh -huh. Did you say that? So when he did the first one, what did you say? I didn't want to freeze out in the cold. <laughs> I was freezing on my car. In my mind, I was going to so be either... So you didn't stop him. All right. So you yeah. didn't stop him. Okay. No, right. I didn't. <laughs> Plaintiffs Chuck Conkle and his wife Kathy are suing Kathy's former friend who they claim struggles with alcoholism. And why don't you think you should be responsible? Well, because I didn't ask him to. I actually was hoping that he could pry a door open, but he started kicking. So you didn't want him to kick it in. No. You wanted him to break in. Pry, just... <laughs> pry yeah. Well, yeah. Cause less damage. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You are still <laughs> thinking. <laughs> 1102 is your judgment. You conspired with the neighbor to <laughs> kick it in. That's exactly what that is. You went to him, said help. He showed you that he was going to help by kicking it in. And as you just said, you were didn't want to sit out in the cold, so you were there. You didn't try and stop him. Um, therefore, you're liable. Have a good day, gentlemen, for the play. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a forgiving person. She, I know she is. I mean, I really do think it's all in the past. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll be okay.